Okay. Irish is uh, hiding at this dump, is he? Trying to hide from me. Back where that guy, friend of the skinny man was. Right. He pissed his pants. Let's find out why the fuck he abandoned me before. Who do you hunt? I I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I I found you one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? Uh, no, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. My drinking to forget? And it makes me violently angry. Right. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. So you do know where it is? Have my doubts. Newborn babies yeah. know where Gatling guns are, do they? I mean, he does well to ride a horse, right, if he's wasted. Must be fucking difficult. I love me faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not going to pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. <laughs> or at least somewhere stuck between fair and meddling. Well, you're going to be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your games. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life, and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? You two-faced little bastard. Well, that was the plan, right, of his. He didn't want us to get a machine gun. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. He was just getting rid of us, John. That's why. We were on our own last time. Why would miners have a machine gun? The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. Mm-hmm. You must be lost, cowboy. This is private property. Your miners, right? You really want to... Oh, we are going for the aggression, are we? To dead eye. Fine. Oops. I need to hold L2 first. Why are we... Why are we killing the miners? They rode, they rode out here to kill me. They, these can't be miners, right? They got a machine gun. And they came out, like, all aggressive, like... It's got to be like a gang or something, right? It's just hanging around a mine.
Hello. Is it? Is it private property? This is getting intense. Only, only one? Nope. Here we are, more. Lay in the mine. Nope. Now what are you gonna do? Hide, John. Come on, get get him! Why can't I aim at him? Oh, that's so stupid! I'm not like at the edge of the box. I do have business here. I'm here for the machine gun. Like oh, shit, like how could you live in a world west? You just like walk up to a mine and they pull a gun out. Well, I mean, I pulled the gun out first, but it was with reason, right? They were the ones being aggressive to me, riding out two guys on a horse. Like, well, what if I just wanted to buy some more? Wanted to say hello, have a cup of tea. No? You got no tea? Okay, I'm sure, I'm sure there's still going to be some more guys in here. Oh, do I get to ride a minecart, maybe? There are tracks here. Oh, shit. No, aim the other shoulder. That's it. Hello? Miner. Hello? Just lay down your garden. We don't have to be aggressive. <laughs> he says. I mean, that's probably not a smart idea, right? Doing that inside of mine. <laughs> Lucky the roof didn't come down. Left fork. Core. Core. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's a bit weird that you have barrels of TNT just, like, on the corners, guys. Like this. I guess they use it for digging, do they? Blasting away. This seems a bit dangerous, doesn't it? No. I mean, I guess it's normal practice, right? To use dynamite in a mine, I guess. The other shoulder. The other shoulder. John. John. Okay. There you go. Vivi, what? Would you call me a goat fucker? You get three bullets for that language. Oh. Oh no. Did I did I start a fire? Who do you think you are? Okay. okay. Left. I think I vaguely remember riding a minecart at some point. I'm sure I do. Can I do that now? Do I do that now? I'm a coming. The trackers are kind of annoying because it, it puts more bullets into them than, than needed, than I want to. I'd wish there was like a way to to tag manually rather than it just doing automatically. Like if I could just tag with R1, so I can just control the amount of bullets I put into them rather than wasting ammo. And also, I don't know if you use more dead eye with the more shots you use, right? Hello? Is there some guy here? No. It's you or me, friend. It ain't gonna be me. You live for the fight, do you? Not anymore, you don't. Okay. Hello? Three dudes. Oh, right. Yeah, inspect the minecart. Nice. Can we go for a ride? 
That's how I get out, I guess. Okay. I've got to push it. Government issue. Why, why the hell did they, these guys have this? Which way are we going? Which way am I pushing? Back where I came from or this way? Is it this way? Please, please don't tell me. Oh, no, where am I going? I'm going this way. Okay. Am I going the right way? Hold L2 to aim. Okay. Only sidearms can be used. Yeah, I guess that. When you are pushing the mine cart and you gain enough speed, you will automatically jump on. Okay. I'm going uphill though, so I don't think that's going to happen. Kind of feel like I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> if um, I'm getting that message. Right. <laughs> okay. No, maybe I can jump in now. Come on. That's it. Oh. Oh no, we're just hanging on. I guess there's no room for us, right? With the Gatling gun. Oh. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Careful. Hello, yep. Hello. Oh, there she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun, ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed knife at first down below. Meet me at the bottom of the hill! Why did couldn't you just bring it up here? Whoa. Fine. Get out of here. This is my gun now. Is it really worth dying over, this gun? <laughs> oh no. Uh-oh. Well, I mean, if I blow that up, it's gonna blow the track up, right? No? Okay. Like everything needs miners build, it's indestructible. <laughs> oh, it goes so fast. Hello. What did I tell you? Piece of cake! Oh, I wish it lasted longer. Now and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. Mm-hmm. I guess we're gonna shove it in the back of his medicine truck, right? I guess. Let me go to Fort Mercer. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. Oh, okay. He's doing it. Nice. Okay. Cool. I bet there's probably something in those mines, right? Like a chest or something, but I can't be able to go back in there. Let's go see Nigel West Dickens now. I mean, I could always potentially go back into those mines to have a look if um, there is like a scrap of clothing that says to search the mines, right? I don't recall there being any, but I can't remember all of the requirements. You! There's some air wrongdoers down the way seem to have eluded us. Round them up or shoot them down. Why? Kill, capture two fleeing prisoners. Why? Do it yourself. Ah, yeah, it's your fault for letting them escape. If they can um, get free by themselves, they deserve it. Like, I don't know what these guys have done, you know. They might have just been arrested for, like, something stupid, right? And they deserve to have freedom. Prisoner has escaped. Yeah, I know. It's not up to me, right? I don't know these guys. They could, I mean, they, they could be in for murder, or they could be in for just, you know, being an, a nuisance. It's not worth going to prison for, you know? They could be innocent. Come on. I have no information. Just to blindly do what some guy tells me, who's waved me down from the road. Ain't none of my business. Not the sheriff, or the policeman of the Wild West. I do do some. Freelance work for those guys when um, it suits me, right? When I want something in return for them to help me with Bill Williamson. But I ain't gonna just help them off the, like the sweat of my back for no reason. I mean, maybe they would have gave me some money, or, but I probably just would have got fame, right? I don't care. 
get too many of those sort of random instances like that of things that, you know, it's just none of my business. If we get some more interesting ones, then I will participate. But if it's just about chasing down criminals, like why? Like, would it be any of your business if you was, like, going down the road and a policeman flags you down to help get some guys who had, like, escaped? No, it's not my job. Come back between 5am and 10pm. Oh, for God's sake. There is a house here, so maybe I can just buy that and then sleep. Why is there a house here? It's like on a... Like an oil? Oil plant? Field? Oil field? Which is the tent? How much does this cost? Five dollars to rent it. What a rip-off. I can rent, like, the room above the tavern for five dollars, or I can sleep here. <laughs> no, which I'd rather choose. Okay. It should be after 5am, I would have thought. It's definitely not after 10pm, so let's do this mission now. Everyone's here working, apparently. Mr. Marston, sir! John Marston! Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. What's that noise? I hear like a mouse or something. Or is it just the wind? Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, then certainly Bill Williamson. But first... You need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you've been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. Nope. You can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> you want my help swindling some more innocent guys? <laughs> the noises you make, man. Jesus. <laughs> Why would you trust a guy like that, making a noise like that? Mmm. Ha ha ha. Mingle with the crowd until the show starts. Okay, I guess I'm being like a plant again. Right. You guys are standing really strangely. You know that, right? Friends! Hard-working souls of uh, Plainview! Do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, twelve... This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Are they gonna? Oh, they're shooting. Okay, they're shooting. Where am I going? Where, where am I going? I think we should leave Plainview for another day. You, you yeah. think? You think? Let's go, my boy. I think we've our welcome here. I'm hit! John, do something! Huh? D do something? I I you want me to take over the reins? You're going a bit slow, do you not think? You dead? Yeah, no, sorry, my aim is a bit off. People 
act a very aggressively, don't they, in the Wild West, to, re to everything. It, it's always... The answer is violence and guns, right? And bullets. There's no middle ground. There's no, like, de-escalation. It's always escalation to everything. There weren't this many guys there, though, right? Where are they all coming from? Well, it looks like the global expansion of your West Dickens elixir might have come across. Ah, nonsense. Just another bump on the science's rocky road. Who? Ignorant I don't know. I'd say they're pretty astute. They have pretty good reason to be mad. I feel like I should let them kill you personally. Oh, hello. Is he dead? Oh. The road looks clear. Let's push on Koyvasaka. Everyone always seems to be carrying some uh, TNT. Sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Keep your eye out, John. For who? Look, why are there still more of these guys? Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will never give up on oh. science. Oh. Frame drop there, Sam. How can these people harbor such bitterness? Well, I ain't surprised. That tonic I drank at Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. <laughs> they all had the shits. Okay, maybe I understand them um, wanting to kill him. Why do you want to die? And how much do these bottles cost anyway? How much does he charge? He did say sort of before, right, when he was wanting to sell us fucking bulk. Oh no. See, so that's one of the other annoying reasons I hate the um, automatic tagging, is that I accidentally shoot horses. I don't want to shoot horses. Ran out of bullets. Keep that gun at the ready, my dear boy. See? God damn it, I think I just killed the horse. He's <laughs> done it again. Like, that's just overkill. I don't want to shoot him that many times. Maybe he gets upgraded to it so I can manually tag the bloke. Like, I, I feel like maybe that was a thing in Red Dead 2 as well, right? Where it automatically tag at a certain point, right? And then when I upgraded my Dead Eye at like a story point or just after a certain level that I gained from using Dead Eye, I could then manually tag, right? I think. We made it, John. There's Quavoseca up ahead. Where? Quavosek. Is there a place here? I see mountains. Is this where you live? You live in a cave. No? Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. This where you keep all your supplies. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shelled the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at no. music again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. Well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. And forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. 
When are you going to do something for me, you know? Like, well, what, what do you- Oh, there's another mission straight here. I just want to have a little look at his house. Hello to you, sir. Yeah, hello, dickhead. Like, what's in here? Is this your cave? Okay. Ooh. No? Can't steal that, sure. Oh, I can steal this, though, maybe. What do you have in here? Fifteen dollars. My fifteen dollars now. That will go towards the reparations you owe me. For always risking my life. Let's see what you want now. 